I'm here at Inside Joke with Josh Fadum. Welcome, Josh. Thank you. So you just got into the festival. Mm -hmm. um, do you do a lot of festival shows? No. Nice. But you I do, mean, sometimes. You do a lot of non-traditional stand-up shows. Like what? What do like you mean? Like your video sh store show? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's true. I do a show in L.A. that's a, at a video store. And what? But we make it kind of traditional. It seems like, I'm sure you would hear that, <laughs> a show in a video <laughs> store? And then you go there and you're like, oh, I get it, because we move stuff out of the way and set up a stage. Do you ever have the problem where people are trying to get videos that are behind the stage? I haven't. No one's done that. But there's clerks that are at the front that the video wanters can just go and say, I'm looking for this. And they'll say, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, do you prefer, what kind of show do you prefer? Big shows, little intimate shows? I like them all. I don't care. I, I, I'm, I don't mind. Well, I've had two shows that were so bad that I'll never care if a show will be bad again because I know it will never be that bad. You must tell us what you those shows were. You were at one was. of them. And that was at, the w at, at South by Southwest when I performed in front of the Circle Jerks. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. I, I was your roadie for that. Yeah, you your helped. dog roadie. I had a do it wasn't my dog. It was my friend's dog. But, uh, yeah, I, I was going to do a bit with a dog, but I also tried to tell jokes, <laughs> and then the rabid crowd tried to rip my head off. They were just really excited for Circle Jerks yeah. and not for... And not for me. You but the Circle Jerks, they <laughs> endorsed me. They were like, this guy was in a Snickers commercial, <laughs> they, so you'll love him. They also got magic. You did knock over the drums, so they well, were like, it'll take more time for the Circle Jerks I, to come I on. I knocked over the drums because the drummer kept going, do, 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 <laughs> like, as if, like, it's my heartbeat and I'm bombing, <laughs> like, during my jokes. He wasn't even giving me a chance. So, and they were like, fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> die! Like the they were very angry. I yeah. remember that. So, uh, so I said, you know, okay, well, I'm just gonna jump on those drums. And we got out of there very quickly. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Try if there were a back door, we would have gone out of it, but there wasn't. That's how I got a cute name. What was it? I can't remember. Fig. Fig. It was yeah. adorable. And yeah. you had a, an adorable dog. I still have him. Nice. I don't have him here, but his name's Bobby. And what does Bobby do when you're out of town? He stays staying with a friend. Nice. Yeah. I took him to get shots yesterday. And he got him. He needed to get shots because it's annual thing. <laughs> and also, he had a bump on his neck. And I said, what's that? And the doc, doc said, uh, that's a cyst. Here's some Neos or Put some Neosporin. He didn't give me Neosporin. But I put the Neosporin on it. Uh, so maybe that cyst will be gone when I get back because I made my friend put the, cy put the Neosporin on the cyst. Nice. Good story. How, how did you find Bobby? I found him. On the freeway, Aww. running alongside the freeway. <laughs> How did you know I found him? <laughs> I found him. I was driving home, and uh, he was running alongside the freeway, and uh, and I I was like, "Hey, dog!" And he was like, "Not me." And uh, and then I pulled over, and he tried to get away, and uh, he got cornered, and that was uh, lucky for me and he because oh. I was able to get him, and he eventually let me pick him up. And where did you pick the name from? Uh, because he had a previous owner, and the previous owner didn't want him. He had a chip, and I took him to the vet and got the number for the chip, and the previous owner didn't want him. And uh, I called him and I uh, said, y you know, I found your dog. And he was like, what dog? Oh, oh, uh, give him to my aunt. And uh, uh, Wait, so, so he, he, went chip, he went through the trouble of chipping him and still didn't he? Still, he just, I guess he couldn't take care of him, he said. Aww. But so he said his name was Bobby, and I thought that was a dumb name, <laughs> so I changed it to Bobby. <laughs> well, Cause I... That, cause he did, we, Bobby wouldn't confuse him too much from Bobby, but I wouldn't have to say Bobby and he wouldn't have to hear it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys found each other. Me too. He's a good friend. Nice. Wish he were here with me right nice. now. And so you're from pretty well, you're from Oklahoma, right? Tulsa, Oklahoma. Nice. And so you you've been to Texas before. Plenty right? of times. I have relatives here. Nice. And yeah. it Texas is it what you thought it would be when you first came here? Well, I first came here a long time ago when I was young, mm. so I don't know if I had expectations. <laughs> Fair enough. What, what, you're not from here. What do you think it would be? Um, I feel like I thought there'd be more cowboy hats. Oh, really? Honestly. You didn't think there'd be more cream cheese because you're from Philadelphia? I didn't think that. You didn't think? There's got to be cream cheese <laughs> everywhere because there's cream cheese all over Philadelphia. But there is cream cheese here, so maybe I just didn't think about it. Right. But there's not cream cheese everywhere You know, here. they do put less cream cheese on the bagels here than they do in the Northeast. They don't know what they're doing. You know? They put and they, Then they put salsa on mm -hmm. it here, too. Is there anything uh, that you miss from home when you're in Los Angeles that you can? I don't know what's Tulsa native to, to Tulsa. 
Um, I miss my mom and dad. Oh. Except for when they come to L.A., I don't want them to be there. <laughs> yeah, what do you do with your parents when they're in L.A.? I just I tell them, go home, because <laughs> I you're not wanted here. You don't belong here. <laughs> uh, no, they come, and then they, they go, we want to go to Beverly Hills. <laughs> and I go, I don't want to go to Beverly Hills. <laughs> and uh, they go, yeah, we're in Beverly Hills. Want to get something to eat Beverly Hills? <laughs> and then they say to the waiters, uh, our son, he's an uh, he's actor. He's an actor. <laughs> Yeah, you want to know his credits, but then they don't want to know, and then they <laughs> tell them anyway. So doesn't your dad try to make friends for you a lot? Yeah, he does. <laughs> He's like met a met a girl, met a guy. They both they both are pr- they work on producing things. <laughs> I think they can help you. Oh, have it ever helped? Have you ever met anyone through? I not not yet. <laughs> not Still yet. working on a couple of well, them. Well, thanks for stopping by at Inside Joke. With Josh Fadum. Has and interview uh, started yet? <laughs> nope, it's starting next. Did we get any inside jokes down? Should we do a second interview? I think we got some. Oh, we got some jokes. good juice out there. You knew you had all the good stories ready. I did. Up. Yeah. Good thing I knew you. Yeah, close call. It's real easy when you know the person. Yeah.